Generally, a debtor will not lose his automobile if he files bankruptcy. The bankruptcy laws and the Florida exemption statute permit a debtor who possesses $1,000 of equity in his automobile and files Chapter 7 bankruptcy to retain his property. If the debtor does not own a home, he can possess up to $5,000 or even $6,000 worth of equity in his automobile if filing bankruptcy. Equity is the value of an asset minus any liens or loans against it. For example, if a debtor owns an automobile with a fair market value of $8,000 and has a loan on the collateral with a $5,000 balance, then the debtor has $3,000 worth of equity in the automobile. If a debtor in a Chapter 7 bankruptcy has more equity in the automobile than the exemption statute permits, the Chapter 7 bankruptcy trustee may seize the automobile and sell it at a public auction. The bankruptcy trustee will refund the debtor the amount of the automobile exception, usually $1,000, subtract her trustee commission, about 25%, and distribute the remainder of the proceeds to the creditors. Sometimes, the Chapter 7 bankruptcy trustee, in lieu of a public auction, will permit the debtor to negotiate a buyback. In a buyback, the debtor will negotiate with the Chapter 7 bankruptcy trustee to buy back the equity in the automobile. In the above example, the trustee would accept $5,000 from the debtor over a period of 3 to 12 months. In exchange, the debtor retains the automobile. In a Chapter 13 bankruptcy, the debtor would retain the automobile. The Chapter 13 bankruptcy trustee does not have the power to forcibly sell the assets of a debtor. In the prior example, the debtor would pay the $5,000 over a period of 36 to 60 months. However, the amount paid through the Chapter 13 bankruptcy would probably be less than $5,000 because in a Chapter 13 bankruptcy, a debtor's assets are usually valued lower than the valuation in a Chapter 7 bankruptcy.